Hi, welcome back. My name's Ian Dodson. On my artichoke video, we had several requests for our remoulade sauce. So today, we're gonna go ahead and make the remoulade sauce. What we like to do, it's kind of a mayonnaise-based sauce. So we'll have some mayonnaise here in the bowl. What we're gonna do is add some chopped garlic, which I've chopped fresh this morning. We're gonna add some grain Dijon mustard. This will give it a little fiery mustardy kick. Now, anchovies, some of you may say, why would we put this in it? The, the anchovies, these are finely chopped. This gives it a nice earthy, salty, briny texture and flavor to the whole dish. So we're gonna go ahead and put about a teaspoon of that in. Some pickle relish. Some black pepper. Some freshly squeezed lemon juice which will just kind of give it a little acidity, but also thin out the sauce a little bit as well. And then what I'm gonna do is take some fresh chives and I'm just gonna finely chop these up. Now, on the, as far as the herbs go, we use chives, tarragon, and fresh parsley. What I like to do is get as much of these fresh herbs into the dish as possible with the herbs, uh, with the chives and the parsley. We're just gonna rough chop these. Now you can use dried herbs in this dish, but I would highly recommend using fresh. They have a lot more of a, that, that fresh, earthy, herby flavor rather than dehydrated dried herbs. What we're gonna do is go ahead and add those into the sauce. and then gently fold them in. Now this sauce, originally I used it on the artichokes. This is great on grilled fish or grilled vegetables. I even like to use it on a sandwich as a spread, whether it's meat or fish at the same time. After everything's incorporated, I go ahead and let this sit in the refrigerator for about an hour. That way it kind of just brings all the flavors together. Remoulade sauce. Thank you for watching. If you have any more requests, please comment below. Thank you.